I don't know how it will play out in uh, November, but what we know is that we will end up with many more unemployed and uh, particularly also people in the grey economy which are not counted for, uh, who lose their jobs. So we will see definitely a lot of anger uh, already now, but probably increase by the end of the year uh, because this crisis will be with us until we really have found a remedy. So um, we have to prepare for a more angry world. And uh, how to prepare? Uh, it means to take the necessary action, to create a fairer world, um, to see that uh, we provide everybody with uh, decent access to the health system, um, that we make sure that those people uh, who are really left behind, uh, and I'm not speaking only on national levels, I'm speaking also internationally, if I see now uh, the tragedy in some of the emerging countries like South Africa, like some countries in East Asia. I think it's all, uh, I, I don't have too many remedies. The, the remedies have to be discussed through dialogue by the stakeholders of our global system. But um, I just see the need for such a dialogue and I see the need for action. I see the need for a great reset. To what extent would a reset be brought about by a change in the White House, the election of Joe Biden, for instance? I don't know. Um, we First, we shouldn't speculate about the outcome of the election. We will see uh, beginning of November, and then we, we can, in any case, uh, we can, and the World Economic Forum uh, is a very open and as an open platform to integrate everybody who is willing to address those issues in a spirit which means uh, to exercise here uh, true global citizenship. I want to just pick up on some of the economic projections. Uh, in your book, you tackle what the future may look like. And at this stage, we're grappling with various uh, letters of the alphabet, whether it's a V or a U or perhaps even a symbol, a tick shape. Can you just give us some, some clues about the growth down the track, what we can expect? First, uh, if you look at it at the uh, national or global level, at the macroeconomic level, um, one of the things we address very much in the book and we are concerned is the increased debt level. We, we spend about 10 trillion worldwide to deal with the short-term negative effects of the um, pandemics. Um, but we should be aware uh, we are just increasing our debt situation. And we were already very much debt loaded before we went into the crisis. So how to get at the end out of this debt situation is still a big question mark. Second, uh, we know that there's quite some impact on different industries. Uh, we know um, that uh, certainly the health industry, the digital industry, uh, will go out of this crisis strengthened. But we know that many um, industries which rely particularly on physical interaction uh, will have difficulties to survive. Um, finally, I, I uh, just uh, uh, would uh, add, I, I think um, um, this is an opportunity again uh, to, to to find solutions uh, which are beneficial for the next generation. So why not to tie government aid to the green economy which we have to create? Uh, why not to make sure that we revolutionize, uh, digitalize particularly our uh, educational system? So we are here when we talk about the Great Reset uh, to talk also about innovation. How can we do things differently from what we used to do? And if we speak about differently, it means also how can we do it to make sure that a majority of people are benefiting from it and not just a minority. We started out Davos this year talking about the environment, Greta Thunberg versus Donald Trump. Uh, certainly a lot of headlines crossing from the mountain. 
But last time around in the crisis, we saw people didn't care so much about the environment when we were talking about large-scale job losses. This time seems different. Are you surprised about how strong the sustainability theme has been right through the pandemic? No, um, I would see even a, a chance to to um, uh, to accelerate, uh, let's say, our uh, uh, transition into a green economy, because um, people probably recognize that we have to become more resilient. We have now the experience of one crisis, the environmental crisis, the climate crisis could be a much bigger one. So. Um, I see more awareness, but on the other hand, we have the big issue of um, unemployment, of uh, low levels of employment. And I think we shouldn't see the two as contradictory objectives.